Today I want to show you how simple it is to deploy a VMFS volume in UCP Director. I just choose the cluster, right click on it, and it brings up um, a context menu. And now I go to UCP Director, attach a unified compute platform, and say configure cluster storage. And once I click on there, I can say create a new volume. And uh, with that, I, it does exactly what it says. It creates a new volume. And it brings me to an interface where I can actually choose uh, to format the volume or not. I want to format it, give it a name and a size. And um, down there, you see a pool in the HDS, HDS storage. And uh, this, this pool actually um, is pre-configured and gives me uh, the, the capacity. I choose the pool and say, I want to have a volume that's 500 gig out of this pool. Let's do it. Now, UCP Director will do everything in the converged uh, infrastructure to make sure that this volume is created, fiber channel zoning is done, and the volume is going to be attached to the cluster. So you see that not only UCP Director is every doing everything, there is also a task at the bottom. So it's completely integrated in vCenter task management. If I click on more tasks, I can also view some details of the task. So it gives me each and every detail, what is going on in the converged system, completely integrated in the vCenter task management. And you will see soon that every, uh, every task, every step UCP Director is doing it, or the environment is performing will end up in this task list. So the beauty of this is once you have uh, set up a monitoring for your vCenter, you don't have to change it for UCP Director because all the tasks are also in this um, task list of vCenter. So if you monitor your tasks, you're good to go. Now you see there's a lot of information already populated. So you see that there has been a volume created. It gives me the volume ID. And uh, also it tells me that the volume has been assigned to a server. And um, later on, we will also see that uh, the volume um, is also uh, attached using fiber channel zoning if this hasn't been done before. So it's really rich information and of course it goes everything into this task management system of vCenter so it's easy to query and easy to follow as a vSphere administrator. And as you see it is, it is, it is completed. Uh, it says it's formatted and was created successfully and you see that there is a lot of information you see that there is also the fiber channeling and the port information on which ports of the storage the volume was actually uh, attached to. So very very rich information in this, in this pane. And uh, now let's look at our cluster and look what the volume uh, is doing at the cluster. So I'm clicking on storage and I see this is the new volume I created uh, with my descriptive name. And um, when, I, when I check where the volume is actually attached to, I'll just quickly click on unmount just to see which hosts are mounted. You see all my three hosts in the cluster are mounted to the volume and are accessible. So my, my volume is fully usable now, and I can just start putting VMs on top of the volume. Also, on the summary view, I see it's VMFS formatted. I see the three hosts attached, and uh, it gives me the details of uh, the volume size. It's 500 gig, as, as I actually put in when I created it. If I click on related objects, I can click on volumes here, and then it tells me the volume in the storage. So it gives me a direct relation from my new volume uh, with the volume ID. 500 gig, uh, it's the physical utilization, which is what is utilized in the pool. It tells me the hosts connected, and uh, it also gives me um, the physical volume, the LDEF number at the, at the very first column. So with a few clicks, I have created a volume in less than 10 minutes, completely integrated completely integrated in my whole ecosystem, including sound zoning, including creation of an LDEF in the storage system, and uh, it's up and running with no time, formatted, and I can use it. And that's how easy it is to work with HDS converged systems like UCP Director for VMware. Thank you very much.